Good evening, Sven here from Common Sense Survival, and tonight we're going to talk about alcohol stoves. Uh, this is your tran uh, Trangia. These are a couple of uh, can uh, penny stoves that I, uh, oh heck, I, I think that might be the first one I ever made. Uh, this is out of a Mountain Dew can. Uh, this was a little Bud Light can, just to just for fun. <laughs> this of course is our, our alcohol fuel and uh, let's put the alcohol, pour the alcohol in here and light it and it'll force the uh, as it comes to uh, boiling uh, the, uh, the the alcohol it will force the uh, gas this is a double wall construction forces the gas through these holes it comes to a full bloom just like you would on your regular stove we'll demonstrate that here in a moment uh, the Trangia is uh, uh, goes back to military use uh, it does have a uh, rubber o-ring seal so that you can store fuel in here uh, do not uh, snuff this out with this because you will damage that uh, rubber o-ring uh, always use your uh, simmer ring. This is a simmer ring that uh, you can adjust your uh, your flame. Uh, and uh, if you go from a full uh, a full bloom there, and you want to snuff that out, you uh, basically just drop that on there, and uh, will kill the flame. And then you can let that cool. And never refill these uh, when they're hot either. Always make sure you wait until they're uh, cooled off uh, properly. And uh, then you can refill re uh, them. But uh, the other thing I want to show you tonight is uh, the IKEA Kitchen Caddy. I'm going to try to make this as quick as we can here. Um, these make nice little stoves. You can put tent pegs through these holes down here. And... Uh, and set your uh, stove in here like this on your tent pegs and cook up here. What I've done is I decided to take my IKEA kitchen caddy, and these are used for uh, uh, knives and forks and spoons and that sort of thing. And you're putting your dishwasher or, or just set these out on your on your counter and uh, and keep utensils in. Uh, but we've decided to uh, go ahead and modify this one cut it down so that we can uh, set our alcohol stove right in the bottom a couple of tent pegs across the top okay. About like that like that something something to that effect and uh, and cook on uh, on this surface here. So, stay tuned. We're going to put a little alcohol in here. We've got my uh, zebra pot and uh, a little bit of water in that. We're going to show you how this comes to a, a bloom and uh, see if we can't uh, boil a little water real quick. Stay tuned. Okay. Uh, shut my little light off here. We're using a... Uh, long uh, lighter uh, light your fuel I've only put a small amount of fuel in here tonight for a demonstration and once that fuel starts to boil it will uh, create a uh, pressure pocket because it's a double wall construction it sounds more complicated than it is but it will force the gas up and through the uh, the holes on the uh, outside of the uh, the penny stove, and uh, we'll get a nice uh, bloom like you would just like on your uh, regular gas stove. And this is excellent for the urban uh, survivalist, you know, in the city. A very low uh, light profile. You can see it starting to light up there. That oil or the uh, alcohol. There we go. A nice full bloom. Okay, we got about, oh, I don't know, got about a half, I don't know if you can hear that, but we got a nice, you can hear that alcohol boiling. We're going to set our pot 
right here on top you got a nice nice uh, good uh, full bloom coming off our alcohol stove We've got about a half a cup of water here in our uh, our pot at 8.50 on the clock. I'm going to pause this. Okay. As you can see, I don't have a lot of, of uh, water in here. And, and I just did this uh, for a demonstration this evening. I think I cut myself off a little bit out there when I uh, uh, paused this. But uh, uh, it, it was just a couple of minutes maybe two to three minutes uh, to bring that to a rolling boil as you can see and uh, plenty enough to uh, purify some water or cook a little uh, soup or make some coffee and this just this is just a very simple very inexpensive setup we're gonna, we're gonna pull that off there set that aside and uh, just throw the lid on that for a minute as you can see uh, and, I, and I put a very small amount of fuel in here as you can see I can if I want I can uh, I can warm that up and cook some bacon and eggs um, let me shut that light off again so you can see that better and that and that's and that and the Trangia um, uh, works the same way except you can store the fuel in the Trangia where this you uh, Basically you have to just let it burn out so you don't want to Put too much fuel in there, but you want to play around with it enough to where You know how much fuel to put in and you can see it's starting to to burn out now so This is Sven with common sense survival if you want to know how to make one of these penny stoves just go to uh, YouTube and type in uh, penny stoves and or how to make a penny stove uh, the Trangia super nice little this is an all brass very nice uh, alcohol stove uh, with the uh, the lid and the simmer ring uh, that's adjustable Whoop. and then you know your heat and, and you can make your penny stoves out of just about any size can. I've had good luck with uh, making them about out of whatever kind of pop can, aluminum cans uh, that you want. So the IKEA, the IKEA kitchen caddy once again, another item that you can find fairly inexpensive online, and uh, the uh, 12 centimeter zebra pot. Love zebra pots, and don't forget your goodwill. You know, uh, for a dollar. This is just a super nice, heavy-duty, uh, commercial aluminum cookware from Toledo, Ohio for a dollar. I picked that up a couple weeks ago, and I saw that, and it was just a nice little pan. So, just some, you know, common sense survival type tips tonight. I hope you uh, get a little something out of this, especially with the, the alcohol stove. Not everybody has seen that. And uh, just want to say thank you. This is Sven from Common Sense Survival. God bless. God bless America. God bless Donald Trump. I appreciate all your, uh, all you guys watching my videos out there. And just want to say thank you and good evening.